Today I'm going to show you how you can find, detect and delete your broken custom content from Sims 4. It's super easy to do. So first of all, what you need to do is go into your game and create a new character. Then when you are in here, you just need to find uh, broken custom content. And when you have done that, I'm going to show you what to do next. So I'll be right back when I found when I find uh, broken custom content on my shoes page. Ah. So I just found a broken custom content on my shoes page. And as you can see, there is literally nothing down here. You can also detect a custom content if a character is a certain colorway or just looks really, really off. Um, I'm not highly suggest you to delete that. But anyway, let's uh, let's quickly give this character a name. Just call it name, delete. Uh, I cannot write. <laughs> So I'm just gonna give some some aspiration. That's not yeah, I'm gonna delete it anyway. <laughs> then Hurry. you need to go down here and click play, and just click save and play. It's very important that you do. I'm pretty sure you can also just upload it to your to to your folder. It's really because you need the tray files to detect the custom content that is broken. So when that is done, you just need to quit your game. Then you need to open Sims 4 Tray Importer. I'm gonna link it down in the description so you can download it for yourself. Just open that. And now when you have it open, you can see that my newest character or my broken custom content piece is here. It doesn't really respond. It's a really, depending on your computer, it's really, really slow. And there you have it. All right, so as you can see here, you can see the description. You can see that it's created by your account, and you can see the date that it that your the character is created. You can also see the family size and the simoleons, and you can choose these. You can see the packs that have been used. Up here, you can see general files and custom content. If you click on files, this is a tray file. Meaning that if you take them all here, you can just click show containing folder and you can delete it from there if you want to do that. But to delete the custom content, you need to go up on the on the CC tab and you just need to wait. Okay, so now you can see that all of your mods and custom content on this specific character is located here. So as you can see here, there's something in red, there's something in gray, and there's something in blue and orange. You need to find those that is red. So I'm just gonna click on each one of these, just take them all. And from here, you need to click show certain folder. And now it's gonna go up here and you can just double check it, the tank top Hello Kitty. That's this one. Just delete that and just delete it. And that's deleted. And you can have it here. Delete and delete. And that should be it. That's basically how you do it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the com comment section. And I'll try my best to answer your questions as quickly as possible. See ya.